Okay, I've had a lot of interest in the electromagnet that I posted and I wanted to get into some details about how this was done. So if you look at the uh, top of the magnet you'll see just a housing and the cables are hooked to some aluminum rods coming out of the top of that housing. And on the bottom of the magnet there's a piece of plywood that I had to pry off so you could see what's behind the plywood. When you get behind the plywood, you'll notice that there's looks like the, a lot of paper and there's a cylindrical piece in the center. The cylindrical piece in the center is just a iron rod that goes all the way to the top of the pipe and is welded there. The paper is really just a bunch of insulating material used between sheets of aluminum. So there's actually just a long coil of aluminum. This is an eight inch flashing that you can buy at a, at a home store. Um, and once you get this flashing, you have to attach two leads to it to get current into the coil. Um, and you also have to insulate the whole coil with paper. So what I used was just the paper you can use for um, protecting things when you paint them and you have to unroll the whole coil and put a layer of paper over the top and then wind the whole coil back up again now when we built this magnet the one that i demoed on youtube we actually had to go through about three coils of this aluminum to get what we wanted uh, the single coil will actually work it just doesn't uh, it didn't provide enough resistance to allow us to use the magnet for long periods of time and the magnet would tend to overheat so really another coil would be better to join uh, the two coils together um, one thing too you got to pay attention to when you put this together is the aluminum rods that are supplying current to the coils have to be aluminum riveted to the sheet of aluminum um, that's the only way you're going to get a good electrical connection for this particular electromagnet. So I hope this gets you started at least on the project. I don't have time to really go through rebuilding another magnet right now, but I wanted to show you what was inside. Uh, several people had requested that I at least uh, show you this much. So hope it's useful. Maybe we'll be able to show you the whole process later.